snowy compound. <laughs> I have emptied out all the buckets. Ooh, one more right there. Got one right. I got this beast running right now. up over here. A couple more buckets with just water in there. You know it's gonna get down to like negative 10 so I want to make sure all the stuff I got outside isn't going to become a frozen. Oh that's really filled. Once it freezes over, I'm looking at the weather forecast. That's it. Game over. There's a little water in this one. The Department of Motor Vehicles is closed, closed, to at least the middle of January, so I'm not going to be able to properly register this vehicle, at least until the 18th. So what I was hoping for wasn't such cold weather, but I want to exercise, in quotes, this vehicle here. Because to get these two running right here will put me back on track in life. Because hauling small amounts like that in a pickup truck, it's, it's not doing it for me. I end up with a buildup like this as a result. Which you can actually see ground over there now. Before the mountain and the pile was really high. So uh, I'm getting somewhere. Slowly. I like these old school battery chargers because uh, they don't get that computer chip in there. I always, when I do that, I always double check it to make sure that just that simple. I just got it on the first latch in case we get like a gust of wind and it'll rip the hood open. Yeah, the old school battery chargers, when I find them, those are like freaking gold. Those are not junk. I don't let those sit out in the water like those crappy tools that I found. I just left them in a bucket. They're actually just, I don't know, get a few uses out of them and then they're 
It was broken when I bought it. I didn't buy it. <laughs> oh, this thing right here. I tried this thing out when I found it, and you couldn't cut butter with this thing. I don't know. I guess the if there was a replacement wheel, but you can't. Can you? Huh, I guess you can. You can replace the wheel. I thought it was one, it was like Pop River to Dunn. This is half, half the battle right here. Just getting something running. Once you got that running, I got that running. I got the blue one running. The cold weather really isn't here yet. I mean, it's all wet and stuff like that. So the snow is only sticking to uh, already cold surfaces. Probably the last liquid weather we will see around here for a while. I'm claiming anyway. I figure I get like the at least the first layer of snow off. Because uh, what's landing right now is going to make like an ice scraping nightmare. The only problem I see with getting this thing inspected is the cracked eyeball. I don't know. See, it, these are supposed to get a safety sticker because of the, the size and the weight of the truck. Which is an issue because in my state it has to be inspected twice a year. The good old trick of like <laughs> leaving an Andrew Jackson on the seat there. <laughs> uh. I didn't hand it to anybody, right? All I see all over the place there is gold, there, King. <laughs> yeah. So do I. I got something under the door there, just enough to keep it off the floor so it doesn't get glued to the floor with ice, like it did last year. No, wait a minute. What, that was, was that last year? Or was that two years ago? No, that was last year. We had a storm and the water, see the green mold and all that? That water was that high and so was the ice. That door, forget about it. I don't care what technique you got. That was frozen solid for about a month and a half. That was a job for Mother Nature and not any mere mortal human being.
I don't know, I guess that pipe wrench might be uh, rejuvenatable. Plus, pair of pliers was like that when I, I found it. Hence, that's why it's wide open like that. That all wrench was already rusty. Eh, some things are a diamond dozen in the trash. This old cheapo screwdriver it doesn't even have a brand name on it. The end on it is cracked off. People are like, oh, you leave your tools in the, on the ground. Well, it's not really even a screwdriver anymore. Uh, I mean, I guess I could grind down the tip. <laughs> or not. <laughs> It'll be fine right there. This pipe wrench, it kind of worked a little bit, but it like slips and slides. It's all sloppy and all that. So, actually, the only thing of value in here really <laughs> is this Ford lock. Which the weather won't bother that. It's meant for this this lock could lay on the ground for years and not really be affected. This has hope. I guess I could put something on that and Make it go. <laughs> Junky old uh, channel locks that that bolt in there is like really sloppy. So like when you clamp down on something, it just pops a joint. You know, like like a like a knee joint or an elbow joint on your body and it jumps down one track that's actually garbage unless I got here some worn out saw blades so yeah basically <laughs> when you see tools that are laying on the ground here <clears throat> Basically, they've been had See, did I unlock the door already? Yeah. There we go. Oh, we'll put him in there anyway. Now this right here, that's a halfway decent pair of jumper cables, that's why I got them inside. That and There's a few other tools in there, some sockets and stuff. This uh, workbench, I really gotta clear it off. Put everything into like a bin or something like that. And get some better freaking lighting. <clears throat> yeah, good tools. Like, I got this sent to me a long time ago by Cruiser Mac. I keep these inside. You, you'll never see this floating down the river. <laughs> The good stuff is inside. Pretty much. Well, this thing, I found this clamp right here. That's cool. That thing works. You know, good screwdriver tools like this, I found it. It wasn't broken. 
Ethan. Uh, some Christmas lights. I don't know, I was breaking stuff up over here the other day. Little bits of brass and stuff like that. It's my brass and copper factory indoors. Honestly, though, I gotta get like both of my kids here to help, you know, like hand off stuff. Because otherwise, I'm walking back and forth. And, you know, it's, it's a lot easier when you have many pairs of hands. You can uh, see the picture a little bit better. Because, you know, if it's up to me, I'll end up just piling everything into a corner there, which probably isn't a bad idea. I mean, I could haul this aluminum out, those aluminum doors. This wheelbarrow, that's why this, that's inside, okay, for a reason, because there's nothing really wrong with it except that tire right there is flat. Definitely could sell that. Anywho, I'm just explaining myself for the millionth time. <clears throat> that's why stuff that's inside is inside, like that microwave works. I want to use that here. Haven't plugged it in yet. I mean, I did, but. And that, kids, is the scrap life. Explained in 17 minutes. For your viewing pleasure. <laughs> See you in the next video.